We are so happy to have the 2016 American Honey Queen, um, Kim Kessler, in studio this morning. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, we've got a yummy recipe we're going to get to, but first, tell us about the Honey Queen program and what you'll be doing this summer. So I represent the American Beekeeping Federation, and I'm their national spokesperson for one year. So I travel the entire country educating children and adults about the importance of honeybees and pollination. So I'll be doing that until next January. Wow. Okay. Well, um, honey, of course, starts with the bees. Talk to us about the, 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 the industry in Wisconsin and Minnesota. Minnesota and Wisconsin are typically in the top 10 in the country for honey production. So we have a very strong industry right here in the Midwest. So we have a lot of great beekeepers that really drive that. Now, we've been hearing for the past year or two that the honeybee is actually kind of, uh, um, uh, there aren't as many anymore. Um, how is that impacting honey production across the country? So there's a few factors that affect that. Some of it is really harsh winters, mm -hmm. different chemicals that bees may encounter, um, different pests and diseases as well. So the beekeepers need to work extra hard to make sure they keep their bees on track and healthy. Mm -hmm. And that can affect honey production with um, higher losses. But another thing it does affect is the pollination because bees pollinate over one third of all the food we eat. Okay. Now, honey, you know, we, a lot of us know, you know, we put it on our oatmeal, it's nice and sweet, it sweetens things, it's a good sweetener. What are some uses of honey that people may not know about? Honey is actually antibacterial. So if you have a cut or a burn, you can apply it to the burn and help prevent other germs from, from growing in the burn. And then it also hydrates it because honey is a humectant, so it locks in moisture. So it accelerates healing. It's also a great natural cough suppressant. It soothes and coats your throat. It's something we've actually used in our house since my kids have been two years old is, oh, is honey. It works great. really, really well. And they like to eat it, of yes. course. <laughs> now, we've got a really yummy recipe that we would love to learn more about. Um, what is the name of it? So it is goat cheese honey spread. OK, and so, how are we going to make this? So honestly, it's very, very simple. We're going to put most of our ingredients into the blender. Okay. So we're starting with eight ounces of fresh soft goat cheese. Okay. Um, it's a little bit easier to blend so we can go ahead and put that in. That almost has like a cream cheese type consistency. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it mixes in a little bit better with the other ingredients. So I believe you can do it with other soft cheeses but if you want to make it more of a I guess a sophisticated recipe you can use goat cheese. Mm -hmm. So it makes it a little different adds a little bit of different flavor which you can always experiment with cooking, which is great. Yes, exactly. So we have our eight ounces of goat cheese, and we'll go ahead and add one tablespoon of olive oil. Go ahead and get that in there. And then we'll move on to three tablespoons of Greek yogurt. So you can use regular yogurt, but again, just making it a little bit different with that goat cheese and the Greek yogurt. Yeah. Now this is nice too because I think a lot of families probably have olive oil and yogurt, Greek yogurt, probably honey in the house. You know, the goat cheese might be the only, um, you know, special trip grocery item that you might have to get. Exactly. These are a lot of things that people actually just have in their home. Yeah. And we'll also take the equivalent of one small clove of garlic, grated or minced is fine. Unless you're me, you might put in four. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> as much garlic as you want, you go for it. So, and then we also have one teaspoon of lemon zest. So. Did that beforehand, and of course, the best ingredient is the honey. And today we are using regular clover honey from Wisconsin. Yeah. So we need four tablespoons of that. And we are starting to run out of time here, All so right. we're going to go to commercial. We're going to blend this up during the commercial break. We'll Sounds show people good. what it looks like when we're done. All right. All right. We'll be right back. 